Howdy, howdy. Have a channeled message coming through for you today. So sit back, relax, enjoy, breathe, settle in, and let's dive in. All right. It is a pleasure as always to be here. This is B. We want to come through to deliver a little bit of a message around David's email yesterday, a sanctuary for peace. And if you didn't see it, that's entirely fine. We'll recap in the next 10 or 15 seconds. Essentially, David has been rather confused as to why so much of the second paradigm has gone in the direction of intuitive truthers and soul line patriots. And the reason is because now more than ever, being able to settle into peace regardless of the external circumstances is what leadership in the second paradigm really looks like. It's what light coming into this planet really looks like. So now we want to be able to elaborate on this and speak into the power of peace. But first, let's take a moment, let's settle in, breathe. Call in your oversoul. Feeling the energy land. It has to be disconnected from the collective. Feeling the energy move and call in your truest soul essence. Now from this space, find that pocket of peace that exists at the center of your being. Settle back. Letting all of the worries, anxieties, fears fall away. Find that space within you where you know that none of that's real in the first place. ask what's really here for me. The answers that you get from this place are the most potent, the most profound, the most precise pieces of information of guidance that you could possibly find for your own individual life. There is not a single person on the planet that has answers for you that are better than what you can access here. And this doesn't just go for things that you already know about. This doesn't just go for things that you're an expert in that you've done thousands of hours of research on, or that you've devoted years to learning, exploring, embodying, maybe even teaching. This line of communication with your oversoul, with divinity, with God, doesn't require you to even have access to the information to even know the specifics or the why or the how in order to deliver that deeply precise guidance to you for not just your spiritual practice or how to feel better, or how to be more conscious or enlightened, but in every single aspect of your life.
So breathe. Settle in even deeper. And feel the truth that you are 100% held and taken care of regardless of what happens here in your circumstances. Regardless of what lies your body may make up about a terrible future that's just over the horizon. Whatever misconceptions your body may have about the certain doom that absolutely lies ahead. Settle back into your peace. Settle back into your truth. And know that within this peace, your soul lives. Within this peace, you have access to your own individual soul, your own essence, your life's mission and purpose, all of the things that are truly here for you. And you are completely held and taken care of here in your circumstances. Now, as you settle into what's really here for you, you can start to come back if your eyes have been closed. And feel yourself bring this energetic, this guidance with you as you open your eyes and settle into the embodiment of that peace, not just in meditation, but in your circumstances right here, right now. Nothing has changed. Since we began having this conversation, nothing about your circumstances are actually different here. But when you settle into peace, you can feel the truth in a way that's difficult to access outside of that peace in a frenzy rooted in some misconception. The closest thing your body has to the truth of soul in every single moment is what you call peace. So when we say that what's most important for this phase of David and Miriam's work, what's most here for the second paradigm is acknowledging and continuing to create a sanctuary for peace. This is why, because your life's mission and purpose is to come here into this body that is hardwired to go in every other direction except for the one direction that is ideal being delivered to you from your soul. Some of that's evolutionary. Some of that's just core to your hardware, how your bodies work here. Some of that's actively programmed in. But regardless of the source of those misconceptions, peace bypasses it. and lets you regain access to that pure source of information. Peace is the gateway to your own soul and to the most pristine truth in existence. It's the most powerful decision-making force in existence, your intuition. So as David and Miriam continue to explore this idea, they're being able to acknowledge to a greater degree that what they have been creating in essence, the entire time is a sanctuary for peace and that that hasn't stopped. Even as the world erupted into chaos, as millions of people started going down the rabbit holes, learning about corruption, learning about some of the darkest aspects of life on earth and acknowledging the truth of that corruption here. 
what has become more important than ever is to be able to stay grounded into that peace. Being with the corruption on earth, being with the darkness on earth, being with some of the most draconian, terrible, dystopian timelines possible for this planet has given many individuals even more reason to come back to themselves, even more reason to come back to divinity, to their own intuition, to their own truth, realizing that many of the experts, many of the consensus narratives of what absolutely must be so, that are so easy to hold yourself to, oh, well, I'm different than that, or I believe something different than that, so I must be wrong, or I shouldn't say anything, or I should pretend that I have that opinion. Every reason to do that is quickly vanishing as people learn more and more about the truth of how darkness operates here on this planet, as people learn more and more of the truth that a relatively small percentage of people on this planet are actively trusting their intuition for their decision-making. And that most of the decisions that are being made here, most of the businesses that are being created and operated here run from something else. These ideals may be good, but they're not happening in the ideal manner. They're not being guided by divinity. So they are misguided far too easily. They are derailed from those ideals and values far too easy for necessities or industry standards Your tether to light, your tether to truth lies in your peace. So everything that we do here with David and everything that David and Miriam do at the second paradigm will continue to be a sanctuary for that peace because it is the most important thing to safeguard here on this planet. Your peace must be protected at all costs. Your peace must be safeguarded despite the social consequences, despite the social pressures to do something else, to freak out, to panic, to fall in line. This is what brings light to earth here and now. And you can see it in the eyes of those who are pushing back. You can see it in the eyes of those who are speaking truth boldly, despite the consequences, despite how they may be framed or perceived or shamed. You can feel the light and truth rippling through many of these individuals who've been speaking out for quite some time now. And that same light and truth is trying to ripple through you as well. Not in the way that you've seen before, but in the way that you are here to bring. Your gifts are waiting to come online to a greater degree. Your expression is waiting to come online to a greater degree. And the world has already prayed for those gifts to be here. The world has already accepted who you are. It's the reason why you came here in the first place. The only reason why anyone's here is because the earth directly asked for each individual soul to be here to play a very specific role. The collective that was here before, your parents, your parents' parents, your ancestors prayed for an essence like yours to come here and you answered that call. The world is craving who you are, but the only way to find it and to truly access it is through peace. So our intention with the club in its totality, with videos, with channel nights, with Miriam's light language, with community and intuitive truthers, with a live group container with Soul Line Patriots, and in the one on one and two on one programs with Miriam and David, and both. The intention across the entire board for the club and for the second paradigm as a whole is to continue to cultivate peace regardless of the circumstances. Even as the second paradigm continues to evolve as aspects of business coaching start to come online to a greater degree, what it looks like to radiate your essence out into the world, to build an empire of your essence, to be a leader of the second paradigm to be a leader of light here on this planet, even as that aspect of this work 
comes online, and it will, it is still the exact same. How do you face finances? How do you enter the capitalistic marketplace? How do you run a business with hundreds of thousands of rules for who you should be and still trust your intuition over everything, no matter how slow it may seem, no matter how much it may seem that you can hack the system and get somewhere quicker. Divinity is trying to guide you in every single moment, in every single circumstance to settle back into your peace, to trust yourself deeply and to let everything else break, to be liberated from the limitations of your body to be liberated from the limitations of your planet, of your species, of that consensus thinking. So that you can bring the thing that earth ordered, asked for, like Chinese takeout. <laughs> you can bring exactly what was ordered, exactly what was requested, exactly what was pleaded for by your ancestors to this planet by simply being you. This is the win-win of divinity. You get to become everything that you feel within your being that you are here to be. And it is the most fulfilling experience in the totality of existence. It's the most fulfilling thing you could possibly do here on earth is to become who you are and to know that everything you do, everything you stand for, you agree with you genuinely do stand for is genuinely an expression of who you are. The only way that any of this happens is by settling into peace and learning to trust yourself. Now in these circumstances, it has not been obvious just how many social pressures they are to fall in line. It has not been obvious just how much consensus thinking operates within every single individual here. But this year, it has become very obvious because the rules have changed. And you've watched not just millions, but billions. The large majority of this planet simply click on over as those rules have changed. Not noticing anything is really different not really caring that anything is different, feeling the tension, the discomfort of change, wanting things to go back to a more comfortable existence, but just clicking right in. But for that percentage that noticed what was happening and trusted their intuition, there is an opportunity to break not just your own limitations that you place on yourself, but the limitations that society is constantly pressing into you, the social pressures to fall in line. This here now is one of the greatest opportunities to learn to settle into peace and to trust yourself regardless of any circumstance that you will ever face in the totality of your life on this planet. This is the moment where leaders of light are born where leaders of the second paradigm become who they really became or really came here to be. This is the moment where inner solidity is built that lays the foundation for the total transition of your planet into light. And it's happening right now through people like you, who have been unwilling to simply fall in line and to conform to the social pressures to adapt to the new rules, who have questioned things and in that process have learned to trust themselves. What's here isn't to follow every rabbit hole. What's here isn't to frantically scramble to figure out where those rabbit holes go and what it all means and what you can do. What's here is to recognize that there's corruption here on this planet. What's here is to recognize that there are countless social pressures that make it incredibly uncomfortable not to follow the rules, no matter how absurd you may know them to be. What's here is to feel all of your biological walls caving in and to stand firm in who you truly know yourself to be. So that 
like a diamond coming together under pressure, you too can come together under pressure, solidify as who you are, and radiate your essence out into the world, shine bright. There's some of you who will feel a ping to enter various containers, whether it be to continue this conversation in blue tier, to continue this conversation live in gold tier, or to join intuitive truthers and continue this conversation month around, or to join Soul and Patriots and continue this conversation live with David and Miriam on Tuesdays. There are some of you who will feel pings And we want to help make it very clear what it is that we are really doing here. More than anything, the second paradigm in its totality is a sanctuary for peace. It is the birthing ground for empires of light, of truth. And on an individual level, it is a birthing ground for empires of your own unique soul essence that the earth has quite literally prayed for. So as much as it is a continual pleasure to be able to transmit in this way, publicly and otherwise, it would be a continual pleasure to be able to help assist in these other ways as well, to be able to have more touch points, to be able to have any part whatsoever in the deep unfoldment of who you truly are. So for those of you feeling those pings, We encourage you to trust yourself, to know that everything will come together, to know that the money shows up, to know that all of the concerns and the little things that come up around that on top of that intuitive ping, all of them will be resolved. Everything always comes together. And for those of you who aren't feeling the pings, we encourage you to do the exact same thing, to trust your intuition, to continue forward doing exactly what is here and absolutely nothing else. And always remember that the path to that clarity for anything that's here in your life will always be found in your peace. So breathe, settle in, find your peace. And know that from this place, from your peace, everything that you are here to do and be on this planet is already coming to you and it is simply a matter of time. So much love to you. Thank you for being here with us in this space, for settling into peace, for bringing more of you to this planet even now for fortifying your inner solidity even now, for finding the truth of what's here even now. This is light coming to this planet here now through you. So thank you. And we'll speak to you at a later time. Bye for now.